Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Swagatesh Bastia. Today I'm going to address a very important topic in the society. So in our clinic, we see a lot of patients uh, during pregnancy and after pregnancy reporting back pain. And more than 70% of these patients are actually suffering from pain coming from the sacroiliac joint. What happens in pregnancy is the body is under the effect of pregnancy hormones like relaxin and progesterone. So what relaxin and progesterone do is they uh, bring about relaxation of ligaments, especially the pelvic ligaments, uh, namely mainly the sacroiliac ligaments here behind and the pubic symphysis in the front. Sometimes, even after pregnancy, uh, these relaxed ligaments do not return to their original length and uh, the normal tension is not, not restored in these ligaments. Also, uh, during pregnancy, the weight of the engorged uterus sitting here causes a strain on these ligaments and they can lengthen out and uh, fail to return to their original position. So what? happens because of this. Because of these factors, you can see uh, the sacroiliac ligaments, uh, strong ligaments covering here the sacroiliac joint and uh, because of these ligaments being stretched out, they become loose and lax and this can lead to further degeneration setting into the sacroiliac joint. It can be very problematic for the patients as generally patients are young mothers who are in a lot of discomfort, sitting for long periods becomes difficult and most importantly, it becomes very difficult for them to uh, take care of their young ones. We address this issue with prolotherapy. Generally about four to six sessions of prolotherapy are needed uh, to address the laxity of the sacroiliac ligaments. Sometimes we combine it with uh, platelet-rich plasma infiltration into the sacroiliac joint as well. All these treatments are done under uh, strict image guidance. Directly, you know, addresses the problem head on by uh, lengthening and tightening uh, of the ligaments. It prevents further degeneration and gives uh, more strength to the inherently loose joint now. This not only is curative for the patients, but it also uh, prevents a host of degenerative conditions to develop in the future.